Stoners, welcome to another edition of Sticks and Stones. I am your host, Brent Elrod, coming to you from the cozy confines here on the patio, the No Shoes Bar and Grill, deep in the heart of the Republic of Texas. I've got a very good show for you today. I think this is going to be a delicious pairing. I am going to be pairing what, if you watch my shows, you know this is one of my favorite cigars, the Drew Estate Java Maduro, a coffee infused, with something that's a little different. Yangling Hershey's Chocolate Porter. I know, sounds kind of weird, but I'm thinking the coffee and chocolate might go pretty good together. So we're going to give it a try. So let's go ahead, pop the cork, cut the stick, and get to toasting. Now, as I said, the Java Maduro is a coffee-infused cigar. This stick is a Robusto, 5.5 by 50 on the ring gauge. The filler and binder are both Nicaraguan and the wrapper is Brazilian. Now visually, it is a beautiful, beautiful dark chocolate brown. It has basically invisible seams, minimal veining, a triple cap, and it's box pressed. Now on the nose, you're getting a wonderful coffee, if that's a word, uh, milk chocolate with some hints of leather and maybe even just a touch of like uh, raisins. This is, as I said, one of my favorite sticks and it has a wonderful aroma. Let's go ahead and give it a cut and test out the uh, cold draw. The cold draw really mimics the nose. Uh, there's a little bit of sweetness on your lips, and there are some really heavy notes of mocha. Uh, tastes kind of like the aroma of a coffee house. Um, it's just uh, it's a delicious stick. I think these are going to go pretty well together. Now, the Yingling... Hershey's Chocolate Porter is 4.7% alcohol by volume. As you can tell if you're watching on video, it is a super, super dark brown. Uh, basically, you cannot see through it. It really reminds me visually of the uh, beers that I would drink in Germany. Um, almost no light passes through at all. The head was medium at best, minimal. Uh, it was a uh, rather opaque uh, and died quickly. Um, now we are just left with a single ring of uh, uh, small bubbles. On the aroma, you do pick up some some faint beery notes of uh, you know hops and malt and yeast but they're faint and it's more chocolate forward but even the chocolate is is fairly faint it's not uh, it's not quite as strong as it is with the uh, the Java uh, Maduro now on the palate As you'd expect, it's a little heavy. Um, there is uh, notes of bittersweet or semi-sweet chocolate. Uh, you do taste uh, a little bit of hops or malt or yeast, but I'm not a real hops fan. I like uh, beer that has a low hops content, and this does have that. It's, it's not 
Uh, it's not overly bitter or anything of that nature. It is really good, and, and you do have uh, a, a really nice, faint chocolate taste as, as you take a drink. Uh, it is definitely different. You're, you're not used to this in a beer. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and fire this stick up and try these two together. As I've come to expect from Drew Estate Offerings, wonderful volume of smoke on the light. On the stick, you're getting notes of chocolate, a little bit of leather, just a little bit of tobacco, enough for you to know that it's there, but uh, and a nice sweetness on your lips. Um, it's a very good stick. Let's try them together. Those go really well together. Uh, Probably better than I expected. The, the hops and malt in the beer give it just enough brightness uh, so that it's able to keep up with the cigar um, and not get overpowered by the tobacco. Uh, I think this is going to be a really good pairing. I'm going to go ahead and burn this down to the halfway mark and I'll come back and give you an update. Hey stoners, I am back. About the halfway mark. Let's come back to give you a little update. This is still a very good dessert-like pairing, I guess you'd say, with lots of uh, coffee, chocolate, mocha notes uh, throughout. Uh, they're going very well together. Um, as I said uh, in the beginning, uh, at the first light, the, uh, the brightness, the, the hops and, and barley and malt uh, in the uh, Hershey's chocolate porter is going very well with the Java. Uh, it is, even though it's a beer, it is, uh, it's not allowing the cigar to uh, overtake it and crush it. Uh, they are melding very well together. I've been very, very impressed. Uh, you know, I kind of wondered about this one. I'm not much of a beer guy. It's only two or three that I, I really like or drink regularly. I'm, I'm much more of a spirits guy. But uh, these are actually doing pretty well together. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and burn this one the rest of the way down, and then I will come back and give you my final thoughts. Hey, stoners, I am back. We are almost down to my fingertips. And the glass is empty. This has been a really pleasant pairing. Uh, it's probably too far outside the norm for some of the purists, but uh, it's still very good. Uh, the cigar is, is one of my favorites, as you know, and I rate it about a 93 out of uh, 100 matchsticks. Um, the Yenling uh, Hershey's Chocolate Porter, uh, it was good, not great. Um, as I mentioned, these two would make for a nice, relaxing change of pace not like a every weekend kind of thing. Uh, it's really a lot like a fine dessert uh, after a meal. Um, I would give the beer an 80 out of uh, 100 whiskey stones. 
Uh, but these two, this is definitely something you should at least try. Uh, like I said, they are they are really good together. Uh, they meld together very well. Um, but I wouldn't do more than maybe a six pack of the uh, Yinling per year, you know. Uh, and it is a limited limited offering. Uh, I happened to stumble upon it at uh, the local Tom Thumb. Uh, but uh, overall, I, I really enjoyed it. It was great to uh, sit out here and watch the uh, Sunday afternoon football games while I uh, burn a stick and have some, uh, have some Yangling Hershey's. Uh, so I recommend it. Uh, I don't recommend it heartily. I definitely recommend the stick. Uh, but uh, everybody should at least give the Yenling a try. So... That will wrap it up for this episode of Sticks and Stones. I look forward to getting to spend some time for, with you again uh, next time. Please hit like, subscribe, share, notify, ring all the bells, blow all the whistles, whatever you have to do to make sure you know when I drop new content. Uh, I am on Instagram, Rumble, Facebook, Spotify, iHeartRadio Podcast, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, as well as Getter, and now on Truth Social. Uh, I will I will go wherever I can go to uh, to get my episodes spread around so that everybody gets a chance to enjoy them. Uh, please stop by the Sticks and Stones store. It's at www.sticks s t i c k s dash n dash stones s-t-o-n-e-z the number one dot my spotify dot com right here or at the end of the video with all of my uh, contact information is at uh, as i said be sure to be watching uh, for the next episodes so we'll have our chance to get together again enjoy a smoke and a fine beverage but until then keep your sticks dry stones cold have a great day <laughs>